To play Super Mario Galaxy 2, you'll need a Wii remote and a nunchuck. Connect the nunchuck to the Wii remote and hold them in both hands. Tilt the control stick to move Mario around. Tilt up to move Mario forwards. Release the control stick to stop. Tilt down to move Mario towards you. Tilt to the right to move right. And left to move left. Tilt the control stick gently and Mario will walk slowly. Mario moves freely in any direction you tilt the control stick. Hold the Z button on the nunchuck to crouch. Release to stand up again. Tilt the control stick to move while crouching. You can use this to get through tight spaces. Press the A button on the Wii Remote to jump. Press the button while standing still and Mario will jump straight up. Hold the button longer for a higher jump. Press the button while running to jump in that direction. You can use this to jump on enemies and over pits. Shake the Wii Remote and Mario will spin. Just shake to spin on the spot. Spin to break obstacles, stun enemies and more. You can also spin to use switches and other objects. Adventure starts when Mario touches down in a galaxy. The aim of the game is to recover the power stars stolen by Bowser. Press the A button on the Wii remote to continue conversations. Let's use the control stick on the nunchuck to move Mario along the path. An enemy. Get close and press the A button to jump. Land on its head to squash it. Here's a pipe. Pipes can lead to all kinds of places. Jump on top to enter. And Mario pops out on the other side of the planet. A Goomba spots Mario and rushes in to attack. Your life meter is reduced by one segment when you get hit by enemies. If the meter runs out, you'll lose one life. Squash the Goomba and a coin appears. You can collect coins to restore your life meter one segment at a time. You can also shake the Wii Remote to stun Goombas. Spin at Goombas when they get close to flip them over and stun them. Once they're stunned, 
You can simply run into them to defeat them. It's not just enemies you can use your spin on. Here's a giant crystal. Spin to shatter it. There's a hole in the ground where the crystal was. Jump in and Mario comes out on the other side of the planet. There's a Luna calling out to Mario. Talk to it and it transforms into a star-shaped ring, a launch star. Shake the Wii remote near it and see what happens. The launch star sends Mario blasting off to the next planet. You'll use launch stars like this one to travel from planet to planet in your adventure. Planets are filled with all kinds of obstacles and contraptions. Time your jumps carefully to make it through the stage without falling off platforms or the edge of the stage. This is a checkpoint flag. Touch it and the flag changes to a red Mario logo. Now you can continue from this point if you lose a life, instead of from the start of the stage. The Luna transforms into a launch star. Shake the wheel remote to fly to the next planet. Each planet pulls Mario towards it with its own gravity. As you travel from planet to planet, you'll reach the end of the stage, where a boss enemy awaits. You'll get a power star if you can defeat it. It's up to you to discover how to beat each boss. And that's how Mario's latest space adventure begins. You'll perform some moves in this game by pointing the Wii Remote at your TV screen. When you do this, a blue star-shaped cursor appears. You can point this cursor at the star bits scattered across the stages to collect them. Pass the cursor over lots of star bits to connect them all in one go. Star bits fall from the sky and also appear when you defeat enemies by spinning. By pointing at the screen and pressing the B button on the Wii Remote, you can shoot the star bits you collected. Shoot star bits at enemies to stun them. You can keep shooting until you run out of star bits. There are many other things you can do by pointing. Yoshi appears when you break open his egg. Jump on top of Yoshi or spin near him to get on his back. You can move Yoshi the same way as Mario. Use the control stick to move around and press the A button to jump. Hold down the A button after jumping to perform a flutter jump. This lets you jump higher and further. If you point the Wii remote at the screen while riding on Yoshi, a red cursor will appear. 
point at enemies or fruit and press the B button on the Wii Remote to stick out Yoshi's tongue. He will then eat the enemy or fruit. You can also use Yoshi's tongue to pull objects. Grab an object with the B button and pull it by tilting the control stick. Point at a flower and press the B button to swing from the flower. When Yoshi has something in his mouth, take aim with the cursor and press the B button to spit the object out. Shake the Wii Remote to do a head shake. Jump while holding the Z button on the nunchuck and Mario will jump off Yoshi's back. Shake the Wii Remote while jumping to perform a spin jump. This lets you go higher and further than a normal jump. Press the Z button while jumping to perform a ground pound. You can use this move to squash enemies, activate switches and more. Jump towards a vertical wall, then press the A button again while Mario is touching the wall to perform a wall jump. You can use this move to get to places you can't reach with a normal jump or to stop yourself from falling into a pit. Hold the Z button on the nunchuck to crouch, then jump and you'll perform a backward somersault. The backward somersault is a lot higher than a normal jump. Press the Z button while running, then quickly jump and you'll perform a long jump. The long jump goes a lot further than a normal jump. This will come in handy in all sorts of places. There are other moves like the side somersault, performed by jumping in the opposite direction while running, and the triple jump, performed by jumping three times in a row with the right timing. If you have a second Wii Remote, a second player can join you in co-star mode. The second player takes control of the co-star Luma and helps Mario out on his adventure. Point the second Wii Remote at the screen to join in. You can point at star bits to collect them. Point at enemies and press the A button to stop them. Then shake the Wii Remote to defeat the enemy. You can also point at items like coins and mushrooms and then press the A button to collect them. You can even point at objects like switches. Then hold the A button and shake the Wii Remote to activate or move them. The second player can help Mario out in all these ways and join in the fun. Some scenarios feature TVs tuned into the TIP network, which will show you demonstration movies on how to perform actions. If you get stuck, press the A button to talk to the TV and watch the demonstration. In some galaxies, if you lose a life several times in a row, a helpful character called the Cosmic Spirit will appear. 
The cosmic spirit can guide Mario to the power star for that scenario. Wow! 
Whoa! 